Hello all. In this video, we are going to learn about the load flow solution by Gauss-Seidel method. So as we all know, the Gauss-Seidel is an alternative method for solving a set of nonlinear load flow equations. Okay, so selecting ground as the reference bus. So a set of n minus 1 simultaneous equations can be written in the form of, uh, let me pick up uh, the, you know, reference bus as uh, ground and also k I am writing so that I can count the k from 1 to n buses. Okay, so whose formula is 1 by y k k into p k minus j q k by v k conjugate minus sigma i is equal to 1 but is not equal to k to n y k i v i. Okay, so call this as equation 1. So, where you can count the k from 1, 2 and so on n buses. Okay, so here we have considered n bus system. So, in Gauss-Seidel method, we need to consider the initial guess for all the node voltages and let me count. So, V1, V2 and so on Vn. So, these are the node voltages or bus voltages in our n bus system. So, I already told you we need to take some initial guess for all the bus voltages. Okay. So, initially I am not discriminating anything in bus type. That means slag, generator or load. So, generally we can assume the node voltages with initial guess whose voltages uh, can be assumed as V1 0, V2 0 and so on. Vn0. We will be starting with this initial guess. So, on substituting these initial values in this particular equation by keeping the count k as 1. So, if we keep the count k as 1, so we will be getting the updated voltage for bus 1. So, we will be calling that as V1 prime. Okay. So, it will be calculated. So, uh, like I will be explaining this one. If I count k as 1, you have to write like this y11 into p1 minus j q1 by v1 conjugate minus sigma i is equal to 1 but is not equal to k. So, here my count is k so that i should be counted from 2 to n. So, whatever the number of buses may be, so that will be counted there. So, in uh, y, k is 1 and i, v i. So, in this way, you need to do the calculations. So, by this time, uh, you will be uh, knowing about uh, Vibus calculation. So, you can obtain the Vibus calculation using inspection method. And then, uh, we will be assuming the uh, voltages for all the bus voltage, uh, all the buses. So, those values and uh, the values in Vibus, we can comfortably use these two values, set of values, so that we can find the updated voltage for first bus. Okay, the revised values of bus 1, okay, so will be captured. So, this revised value is replaced by the initial guess. So, earlier it was guessed as V10. Okay, so now it will be replaced with this updated voltage. Okay, so for the calculation of uh, second bus voltage that is k equal to 2, your guess voltages will be as follows V1 prime, it got updated already, and V2 it was not updated yet, so it will be counted like this and also for the rest of the buses. And by keep, keep uh, substitute uh, k as 2 in uh, the equation 1, okay, so that you will be getting the updated voltage for bus 2 using the previous same old formula, equation 1. So, when you count for k equal to 3, your voltage assumption should be V1 prime updated voltage and V2 got updated Okay, so and V3, it was not updated yet. So, it has to be taken as the initial guess and, on, and so on the other rest of the bus voltages like this. 
so it will be repeated unless until your nth bus updation has been completed once you got the updated voltage for nth bus so then we can say that one iteration has been completed okay so this is how the gaussoidal method will work for voltage updations okay so uh, one more point i would like to mention here is that the iterative process okay is repeated till the bus voltage converges within prescribed accuracy that is important within prescribed accuracy you need to do the entire process okay so we can generalize the equation in this way okay so vk r plus 1 iteration okay is equal to 1 by y k k into p k minus j q k by v k r conjugate minus sigma i is equal to 1 but is not equal to k to n y k i v i r plus 1 okay so you may call this as equation 2 generalized formula to find the voltages so here uh, v k r will represent the rth iteration value this is the rth iteration value of bus uh, voltage v k okay so similarly v k r plus 1 means r plus 1th iteration okay r plus 1th iteration value of bus voltage v k so here we need to understand the bus classification as well so we all know very well that uh, we have uh, firstly load bus okay next one is a generator bus next one is a slag bus so these are the types of buses for any bus four quantities will be specified they were real power reactive power okay magnitude of voltage and phase angle so load bus may also be called as pq bus okay so that means p and q will be specified magnitude of voltage and phase angle will not be specified that you need to find and second one generator bus may also be called as pv bus okay so that means p will be specified v will be specified q and delta will not be specified and we need to find it for slag bus so slag bus may also be called as reference bus whose specifications are exactly opposite for the case of load bus that means your p and q will not be specified your v and delta will be specified so these are the types of buses we have so now get back to our method okay so in gaussoidal method or any other method slag bus will be considered as reference bus whose voltage this slag bus voltage will not be changing for any iteration so for any iteration your slag bus voltage will be the same okay so uh, in each iteration so what is going to be uh, uh, calculated look at uh, load bus for load bus what are the unspecified quantities v and delta they were not unspecified okay so for uh, generator buses if we consider the generator buses reactive power and then delta so these variables were unspecified so for pv generator let us start with the pv generator pv bus or generator bus so for pv bus the reactive power is not specified it is very clear and in order to calculate the phase of bus voltage that means delta okay so we will be using this standard equation generalized formula is there no so this formula we can use to get the value of delta because if we calculate this voltage default we will be getting the magnitude of kth bus uh, voltage and also the phase angle okay so uh, this is how you need to uh, do the 
uh, calculations for the respective buses okay so let us uh, find the real and reactive power equations okay so from equation 1 so what is that equation 1 so this equation 1 is all about voltage at kth bus let me write that voltage again voltage equation again so vk is 1 by ykk into pk minus jqk by vk conjugate i was not i am not writing the generalized formula but i am writing the normal equation of voltage at kth bus okay which is not equal to k to n here so y k i v i okay so from this equation we can find the relations for the real power and reactive power okay so from this equation we can write pk minus jqk by vk conjugate as ykk plus sigma i is equal to 1 but is not equal to k to n yki vi simple okay so we can also arrange this one this is the kth element right so into vk is also there okay so this can be uh, written as sigma i is equal to 1 to n so we were involving this kth element into this summation okay so i can write it as y k i v i and then i will be splitting this into two parts like i is equal to 1 to k minus 1 and k to n okay let me write this one plus sigma i is equal to k to n y k i v i clear so this equation can be further simplified so now i'm writing the relation for p k minus j q k so that this part is there no it will be turned to the other side so if i do so it will be looking like this v k conjugate into sigma i is equal to 1 to k minus 1 y k i v i plus sigma i is equal to k to n y k i v i okay so this we call it as equation 3 okay now in order to get the real and reactive power relations it is very simple that we will be separating the real and imaginary parts before that i am going to generalize this equation like this pk r plus 1th iteration minus jqk r plus 1 is equal to vk r conjugate into sigma i is equal to 1 to k minus 1 y k i v i r plus 1 plus sigma i is equal to k to n y k i v i r plus 1 so this is the generalized formula you can call it as equation 4 okay so here we have considered the generator bus yes see we have considered the generator bus let me highlight this one so this is the generator bus and the unspecified quantity is q first okay so we just uh, write the relation for uh, the real and reactive power combination like pk minus jqk general formula so uh, only to calculate the generator bus reactive power for that sake i'm comparing the reactive power only okay if i compare then it will be uh, minus qk r plus 1th iteration value will be the imaginary part of this entire expression okay is that clear so uh, if if you want to skip the negative sign on q then you may also write like this plus 1 is equal to minus imaginary part of the same old expression okay so this is how you need to work for 
you know generator buses so for generator buses q will be calculated in this way so how you are going to calculate the delta so it's it is simply uh, while you calculate the voltage equation vk r plus 1 you will be getting the uh, value in you know rectangular form some x plus j y form will be there you just convert that into polar form so that you will be getting the magnitude of voltage with corresponding delta okay so this is very easy kind of calculations in this way you are going to do the calculations for the generator bus and also one more important point is that this reactive power is there no so let me get back to the type of or bus classification see here so this reactive power will be given with limits okay let me call this as q cal calculated reactive power for generator bus this will be having limits as q minimum or uh, less than or equal to q maximum so limitations or specified limits will be given for your generator reactive power okay so if this calculated reactive power violates the specified limit either it can be minimum limit or maximum limit if it violates it is treated as a load bus not as a generator bus if it violates either both minimum limit or maximum limit so then it will be this generator bus will be treated as a load bus okay so it does not uh, if it does not violates then it will be treated as a generator bus this is how uh, we need to proceed with the load flow solution by gauss seidel method okay in the coming video i will be doing a problem based on gauss seidel method and later on with different models i will be covering different uh, you know models on gauss seidel method okay so i hope you understand the video and if you find any doubts please do comment i will be answering thank you so much for watching this video